to another session of Mommy Teo Teaches Math. Our topic for today is solving problems involving tests of hypothesis on population mean. We have four steps in solving problems involving tests of hypothesis. The first one is state the null hypothesis H sub O and the alternative hypothesis H sub A. Number two, determine the test statistic that will be used to conduct that hypothesis test. Then calculate its value. You may use here the Z and the T formulas. For number three, find the critical value of the test and draw the critical region. This one, of course, is found in the Z distribution table and in the T distribution table. And number four, decide and draw a conclusion based on the comparison of the computed value of the test statistic and, of course, the critical value of the test. Okay. Example number one, the owner of the factory that sells a particular bottled fruit juice claims that the average capacity of a bottle of their product is 250 ml with a standard deviation of 5 ml. To test that the battle is not 250 ml, a consumer group gets a sample of 100 such battles, calculates the capacity of each battle, and then finds the mean capacity to be 248 ml. Use 0.10 as, of course, the level of significance or the alpha. So let us now follow these steps. Number one is state the null hypothesis and the alternative. So our null hypothesis will be the average capacity Okay, so this one is our null hypothesis. The average capacity of a battle is 250 ml. In symbol, this one is mu equals 250 ml. What about the alternative hypothesis? The alternative will be, it says that the battle is not 250 ml. So meaning, the average... Capacity of a barrel is not 250 ml. In symbol, this is mu is not equal to 250 ml. We already formulated, of course, the null and the alternative hypothesis. Let us go now to number two. Determine the test statistic that will be used to conduct the hypothesis test. Then calculate its value. So let us identify the given. We have mu equals 250. That is the population mean. We also have, of course, the sample mean, which is 248 ml. We also have the standard deviation of the population, which is 5 we also have the number of samples, which is 100. And then we have the level of significance, which is 0 0.10. So what test are you going to use? We will be using here the Z-test. Why? Because our N is greater than or equal to 30. And the population standard deviation is given, which is 5. So this one is the formula. Z is equal to X bar or the sample mean minus the population mean multiplied by square root of N, number of samples, divided by the standard deviation of the population. So let us substitute now. This is 248. Substituting the given, we have 248 minus 250 times square root of 100 divided by 5. 
So the value of z here is equal to negative 4. How do you do that? You subtract first 248 by 250, and then you multiply it by square root of 100, then divide it by 5, and you will be getting there negative 4. Let's go now to step number 3. Find a critical value for the test and draw the critical region. So our test statistic value is negative 4, or the computed value is negative 4. Our null hypothesis is, of course, mu is not equal to 250. So we will be identifying first what table are we going to use. We are certain that we will be using the Z distribution table or the Z score. And then we have to identify whether we will be using the one-tailed or the two-tailed. So in this case, it's not equal to. So we will be using here two-tailed. And then... We have to look for the significant level or level of significance. That is 0 0.10. So you have to look for the critical value. So the critical value there is equal to look for the Z distribution table, two-tailed, and 0.10 level of significance. And you will be getting there positive, negative, 1.645 this one is the critical value and then after that we have to draw the critical region so if i will be illustrating it this one is the center of course okay so we have here 1.645 and this one is negative 1.645 Okay, this one is the illustration, and this is the critical, critical value. This one is the rejected region, and this one. Okay. So now, question. Where does Z equals negative 4 fall? So if you will analyze it, this will fall on this region in the rejection region this one is negative 4 z equals negative 4 somewhere here let us now go to step number four decide and draw a conclusion based on the comparison of the computed value of the test statistic and the critical value of that test this one is the critical value 1.645 and our computed value is negative 4 and we can say that it falls in the rejection region. Therefore, the null hypothesis is rejected. What will be our conclusion then? Our conclusion would be the average capacity of a battle is not 250 ml because we of course reject the null hypothesis and we accept the alternative hypothesis and this one is the alternative hypothesis the average capacity of a battle is not 250 ml that is our example conclusion. number two a manufacturing firm claims that the average income of their employees per day is 325 pesos a random sample of 25 employees were tested and found to have a mean daily income of 310 pesos with a standard deviation of 4.5 test the hypothesis that mu or population mean is equal to 325 against the alternative which is mu less than 325 using 0.05 level of significance so following these steps step one let us state the null and the alternative hypothesis so the average 
the average income of employees is per day is 325 pesos. So, this one is mu is equal to 325. Our alternative hypothesis will be the average income of employees per day is less than 325 pesos. So in symbol, we have mu is less than 325. Step number two, determine the test statistic that will be used to conduct the hypothesis test, then calculate its value. So let us identify the given. We have the population mean, which is 325. We have the sample mean, which is 310. We have N equals 25, number of samples. And we have S, which is the standard deviation of the samples. We have 4.5. And then our level of significance is 0 0.05. So in this case, we have the standard deviation of the samples. And we have, of course, N is less than 30. So we will be using here the T test or the T formula. That is X bar minus mu multiplied by square root of N divided by BS. So we have 310 minus 200 or 325 times square root of 25 divided by 4.5. You will be getting here T is equal to negative 16.667. Let us now go to step number three. Find the critical value for the test and draw the critical region. So our computed value or test statistic value is negative 16.667. Remember that our alternative hypothesis is mu is less than 325. So this one is left tail or one tail. So we will be using here, of course, the T distribution table. Therefore, we need to find the DF or degrees of freedom, that is N minus 1, which is 25 minus 1. This is DF is equal to 24. And the level of significance is 0 0.05. Now, you have to look for the value of Alpha 0 0.05, degrees of freedom 24, of course, in the T distribution table, and one tail. You have to look for one tail. And you will be getting there the T or the critical value for this is negative 1.711. Okay. Now, let us draw the critical region. We have here 1.711 and we have negative 1.711. So this one is the middle. Okay. So this one is less than, therefore your region of rejection will be this one. And this one is the critical value, the critical value. Where does negative 16.667 fall? It falls in the rejection region. Therefore, the null hypothesis is 
rejected. Let us go now to step number four. Decide and draw a conclusion based on the comparison of the computed value of the test statistic and the critical value of the test. So based on that, our null hypothesis is rejected. Therefore, we accept the alternative hypothesis. So reject the now hypothesis therefore the average income of employees per day is really less than 325 pesos. 